She wanna talk to the kid, make one wish. I'ma get fired right. So good, sir, I'm trying to get high tonight. So we gon' pass right. I'ma start dancing as soon as they hit the light. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ. With your geek like me. Do you like Miley Cyrus? Do you like Virgil White? White. I done been jumping off with these brothers and leaders. I earned my stripes. Earned. Over the gang and rubbing the family. Whether they wrong or right. Family. With a cash transaction, no one can be the swipe. Swipe. Every my trust is a kid, I keep my pipe to protect my life. I know my right. I must be a girl like a nigga, a friend. You blue bitch, you bad, she working at others. I gave her a sack full of money, she bought it, she begging and came with something. Don't better that demons run. They look at it, do nothing to it, ain't nothing. She fought with a ball, she upgraded from her last nigga, said he won them. Her nigga ain't seen no money. Push out the trap, we stepping and gun. Meet me at poker, meet me at boy. Nigga won't smoke a beef, we coming. Big boy toys, they gorgeous, all these gorgeous girls want it. I be ignoring them, they be annoying me, I be ignoring them, it's like we fucking fuck your mess, no, she can't answer the phone. She has how she get that bag on her own. No, I'm not alone, cause I came with the fire. I'm still gonna put it on, and my bitch match my vibe. The way the low drop, she might think it's out the sky. I'm standing on business, and she's standing on mine. Like I'm too late And I know I'm still great in spite of my mistakes You know it's authentic every rhyme I say My only regret is I made niggas wait See ain't too many like us, we like Venice bait And I don't fuck with busters, I can't integrate Grew up with these killers in my living space A lot of niggas folded through them village days Citywide gang and junction police raids LA Times rolling 60s made the front page I vow to never let tradition seal my fate Selling dope with hopes to graduate to real estate I knew I was drumming to a different beat Felt it in my stomach, I was just unique We decided we gon' let these visions speak Then we turned Swanson into Venice Beach That 600 made back platinum dealer plates Wake up in this penthouse to the cityscape You know it's authentic every shit I say I knew self-destruction ain't the only way Sometimes perfect time and feel like I'm too late But I know you still great in spite of your mistakes Before you run your race, you gotta find the pace Just make sure you cross the line and fuck the time it takes I got out the county jail 2008 Couple months I dropped the tape, then I was on my way My first single out and set the streets ablaze On location, shot that video in front of the cage Trying to find my way through this fucking maze Every concert, hundred niggas on the stage we're still active, so it's really just another day. Promoters paranoid to book you, that affects your pay. And when you stop eating, that affects your weight. And when you get hungry, that affects your brain. See me, I'm not tripping, I respect the game. I hope y'all do, if I can't make it, I'm gonna take a change. See, ain't too many like us, we like finished bait. And I don't fuck with busters, I can't integrate. I know perfect time, it feels like I'm too late. But every single time I drop, they tell me I'm the great. I know perfect time, it feels like I'm too late. And I know I'm still great in spite of my mistakes. You know it's authentic every rhyme I say. My only regret is I made niggas wait. I know perfect time, it feels like I'm too late. And I know I'm still great in spite of my mistakes. You know it's authentic every rhyme I say. My only regret is I made niggas wait. Daddy Houston. Hey, Norm Tone Bot, Norm Tone Bot, Norm Tone Bot. We back, Ratchet Gang. 
We back with another one. We back with another banger. Let's get the likes up. Look, you might have forgot. Hell, they might have forgot. But you already know. It's the king. Too loyal, know I'm tone by Ratchet TV. Hey, I y'all already know, man. Y'all already know. Get the likes up if you in the building. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Tap that notification bell so you can get the drop whenever I drop. I so boom. Man, 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 man. We got to talk, Ratchet Gang. We got to chop it up. Look, tonight we got to chop it up about Alabama. We definitely got to tap in with Alabama tonight. <clears throat> There's a... There's a situation we was talking about over here last night, and we are going to definitely readdress that situation of a lady named Jamaria. Jamaria. So she had an interesting story, and I feel like her story is not getting any coverage at all. And, I, and when I say none, I mean none. Uh, salute to everybody in the building, man. Salute to uh, B Money on that membership. I appreciate you. Salute to Drea for that membership. I appreciate you. Salute to Leash for that 20 piece McNugget and Godson for that 20 piece McNugget. Go grab some merch. TheRatchetTV.com. Showtime. Let's get the likes up. Salute everybody. Salute to B Money for that membership. Uh, being a member for four months, excuse me, being a member for four months. Salute to you, salute to God's son for being a member for 22 months. Drop them flowers for God's son, everybody, for being a member for almost two years 22 months. Salute to you, I appreciate you. Salute, 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 salute to everybody in the building, man. Let's go ahead and get the likes up. So, not only are we going to chop it up about that, we got to chop it up about the corruption that is going on out there in Alabama. I told y'all we are moving on to different content. We got a lot of stuff to talk about tonight. I also got some paperwork. I also got some paperwork about Alabama and the corruption that's going on that's going on out there. It, it, it's some it's some ish that we gonna chop it up about. I got I, I'm we're gonna talk about John Mario. We're gonna we we're even gonna throw in a, a tad bit of ma mahogany Jackson sprinkled in with this because that's a part of the corruption that's also going on in uh in Birmingham. It's not even just Birmingham. The, 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 how can I say it? The prison system, we, we got to chop it up about that because they've been doing inmates very wrong out there. It's a lot of, it's, it's corruption all over the place out there in Alabama. So we're going to talk about a lot of Alabama corruption tonight. Salute to Lisa James for that 25 piece. Salute to you. Salute, salute, salute. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's going to be a long night filled with a bunch of content, different different scenarios and different things just to show y'all what type of monster we are dealing with out there in Alabama. It, it, it's kind of loose and crazy, allegedly, allegedly. And everything I say is alleged and it's all under the Fair Use Act. And you can see the Fair Use disclaimer in the description of this video and in the description of all my videos. This is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. This is just to my this is just to educate my people on what we've been covering over here. Uh, like I said, it's all under the Fair Use Act, and you can see the Fair Use disclaimer in the description of this video, and everything I say is alleged. Allegedly. I think I said that right. Anyway, well, y'all know, it's in the, it's in the uh, disclaimers in the description. Anyway, salute to, uh, hold on, I just missed that, that, that one totally. Excuse me one second. Let me go back up to this. Will B, I appreciate you for that 20-piece McNugget, Will B. Salute to you. I appreciate you. And uh, salute to Papa Ty for that 10 piece McNugget. I appreciate you as well. Salute to both of y'all. Salute will be and Papa. All right. So, have y'all, was y'all over here last night and did y'all see the story about the officer who allegedly R worded the young lady who is going to, you know what I'm saying, university up there in, in, in Alabama and in Birmingham? Did, did y'all? see the story that i posted last night refuse to lose i appreciate you for that 10 piece refuse to lose podcast for that 10 piece on cash app salute to you salute to uh lisa james for that 25 piece on cash app i appreciate you as well salute 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 i appreciate uh both of y'all salute <clears throat> man y'all already showing up 
Uh, salute though. All right, so I don't know if y'all was up, uh, up on the story or not. If y'all seen the story about the officer who allegedly, or not allegedly, man, the dude ended up resigning. But we are gonna get to the story. I wanna, I wanna bring that story back up and chop it up about it. And, and you know what I'm saying? We gonna, we gotta dissect this story because this story even connected in with the Mahogany Jackson story. Crazy enough, right? It's kind of insane how we always drop gems and tell y'all all these cases be aligned. Nobody ever pays attention to it. Salute to Nika, your one month anniversary. Salute. We hope you stick around. Salute to you. I appreciate you for being in the gang. Salute to you. So make sure y'all smash the like button, man, as y'all enter the live, if you don't mind. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you smash the like button. That's the least you could do it as you come in here. Just go ahead and, and smash that like button. We, we got a lot of content to cover tonight. So let's get to this story. I want y'all to drop the gems if you've heard of the story. I want you to drop the eyeballs if y'all don't know what the hell is going on. Drop the gems if you have heard of the J John Mario story. I think that's how you say her name. But anyway, they really don't talk about this stuff. And not only do they not talk about this, when we was covering the Mahogany Jackson situation, look, I haven't covered many, many cases in Alabama. But I do know I did cover the Carly Russell case and I did. And let me tell y'all something. When I go looking for paperwork nine times out of 10, I'm going to get the paperwork. I'm going to get the. If I can't get it, I know who can. It's easy, accessible. It's easy to access if you know if you know how to look for paperwork. But I, I, do, I do know when I go cover cases in Alabama, getting this paperwork is like. It's like it's, it's virtually impossible. They don't talk to you. They won't reply back. They send you in circles and they throw you in different loops and and you go down a rabbit hole filled with phone calls and emails and voicemails. Salute uh, Drea on that 10 piece McNugget. I appreciate you for that 10 piece salute, salute, salute. And salute Miss T for being a member for three months. Salute King. Thanks for all you do. Salute to you. I appreciate you. Smash that like button, y'all. <clears throat> I appreciate you for being down. Salute. Man, man, man. So as you see, the case in this case ended up intertwining with the uh with the mahogany Jackson case because some of the police officers were sleeping with these young girls too. And it's not even just these, it's a whole bunch of that going on. I started doing research on Alabama police and, and they are just a bunch of hood dudes. I'm being serious. Every one of Birmingham PD is a bunch of hood dudes. It's people from the hood. It's just re regular dudes from the hood. And man, Birmingham, if y'all in the building, tell me I'm lying right now. I did some research on these dudes, and I'm look. I'm like, bro, how the hell is these dudes police officers? All these dudes look like they uh still in the streets, stepping on shit. They, they, I'm talking about these look like some. I'm I'm telling you, all of them look like criminals. I'm just sitting there like, hey, hold on, fam. And they all dancing in the middle of the street, getting lit. Uh, I, I'm just, man, they at parades and they doing all the dances that everybody else. I'm like, bro, what the, what in the ratchet hell is going on? And man, fam, I'm just looking at the police force and every one of them just look loose. Everybody in the police force out there in, in Birmingham look loose, bro. It's just a, a, a whole bunch of hood dudes. You, these just look like some rapper security guards, bro. I'm, I'm like, man, hell no. Nah. Ain't no way in hell they protecting and serving. These boys serving something, but it ain't no damn... <sighs> man, man, man. <clears throat> we gonna get to this story, though. Get Drop the gems if you heard of this story. And drop the uh, eyeballs if you have not. I want y'all to drop the gems if you have heard of this story. Okay, so this is part one. I want y'all to drop the gems if you have heard of this story. Cause we played it over here last night, but we want to talk about this story again. And we got a few things to discuss with this case. And Mr. John, Mr. John officer, excuse me, not Mr. I said, Mr. I'm, I'm talking about officer. There's an officer involved in this case. And, uh, yeah, th this, this officer is definitely, this officer is definitely loose and alleged. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep that. Let's keep that a big buck. Uh, but yeah, we are gonna get to it. Let, let's let's chop it up. 
Okay, so this is part one of how I got raped by a Birmingham police officer. So I was trying to get. Then that Birmingham police officer, Officer John Wade. Officer John Wade. Make sure everybody in this building smashes the like button as you come into this live. I want to know if y'all heard heard about this story or not. I know some people wasn't over here last night. You probably didn't see this story. So we're going to, like I said, we're going to bring this right back up tonight. Let's go. Get help that day from now on one from a previous incident that happened in my building that day. Um, so I was walking the campus to get help since no other police officers were helping me. So as I'm walking to campus, a police officer stopped, pulls beside me and says, hey, I heard about you. What's going on? Hey, I heard about you. What's going on? Now, those police officers that responded to the uh, mahogany scene, allegedly, some of the dudes who was responding to that scene allegedly were sleeping with Tasia. That's why they didn't search the house. The reason why they went in there and didn't search that house is because one of those dudes who pulled up or a few of them was knocking down them girls. But allegedly, that's the whole reason why they didn't search that girl house. The reason why they did not search her house is because, allegedly, one of the dudes there was sleeping with Tasia. And I told him what was going on. And he asked me where I was headed. And I told him I was headed to campus to go get help because I have mentors on campus um, that I knew that would help me. <clears throat> and it's crazy to see how all of these dudes abuse their power out there allegedly. Salute to nothing nice. Uh, you, you got that top G mod. You're going to have to hit Sapphire up on Instagram. Nothing nice. You're going to hit Sapphire up on Instagram to get that mod wrench. Salute to you, though. Salute to you uh, for being here. Salute to you for getting that membership. I appreciate you. Hold on. Matter of fact, let me do something real quick before I continue that. But yeah, y'all, as you see right there, they be abusing. They be abusing their damn power out there in, in Birmingham, allegedly, man. Allegedly, they be out there abusing their power. Hold on. Let me let me do my let me do my whoop de boo. There we go. Let me the content good. Let me go. Let me go. So he said that he could take me to campus. So we went to that person office they were working from home that day and i wanted to go to my executive office to go talk to her and get help from her because i knew she would help me so um instead he was like oh, i just want to go to your apartment see how everything looks um and i was like why do you want to go to my apartment because it didn't happen in my apartment it happened in my apartment building so why do you want to go to my apartment so he kept saying i just want to go have to see how it looks so around this time, I'm already hallucinating. Um, we go to my apartment. I'm talking to him. And as you see right there, the dude finessed his way into getting in her apartment. He finessed his way into getting into this, this young lady's apartment by abusing his power. Because you got to think. You got to think. If, if a young lady gets a request from an officer, she probably ain't going to. She probably not going, you know what I'm saying, feel, I mean, she she probably feel uncomfortable, but I mean, why would she decline? Because I mean, it's an officer. It's not like, it's not like it's some random dude on the street. I mean, it is, but it's an officer. You So you kind of feel like this is something safe to do because it's a police officer. So, but anyway, he ends up finessing his way into this young lady's apartment and let's let it continue. So I'm telling him my story. I had a studio apartment near campus. So he's sitting on my bed, I'm sitting on my bed that chair. I'm telling him my story and he throws off his body cam and it's me telling my story. I'm already hallucinating. And at this point, he could tell that I had detached from myself. And um, he was like, he threw off his body cam. Then he asked me, he said, Jamaria, I need you to do something for me. And I was like, okay, so I'm thinking he's talking about paperwork or 
you know, go on downstairs, talk to the girls in the building about what happened. Um, but instead, she pulls down his pants um, and raped me. So at this point, she says, the man asked her, you know, I need you to do something. And then once she's like, you know, what, what do you need me to do? You need me to file a police report. You need me to, you need me to uh, go down and, you know, we, we got to talk to the girls about what happened because an incident occurred and she was going to her university for help. And like, like I said, he ended up finessing his way into her apartment and instead of doing his job well, i mean his job was never to be in her apartment number one his job was was not not even to matter of fact he didn't even have nothing to do with anything he just seen her and, and wanted her i guess and just made it his business to make it his business so let's let it continue and make me you know do things that no woman should ever go through so after that he leaves 10 minutes after that two officers come and arrest me for disorderly conduct I go to jail for like 10 days, 10 days I was in a psychosis, so I didn't even know my name um, and all that happened. The same officer was able to get into my apartment, get the keys to my apartment, bring my medicine to the jail. So now he gets the keys to the apartment. Oh, hold on, I forgot to put my, I forgot to put my shit on. Hold on, y'all. But yeah, he gets the keys to the apartment, y'all. Now he didn't got the lady keys, but he didn't finesse his way because I got some receipts from her that shows how he was over there. You know, he had people watching her allegedly. Allegedly, he had people watching her. All right, hold on. My bad, y'all. Let me continue. Let's get back. Let me get back to the video. Let me get back to the video. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me get back to the video. Oh, listen to this, y'all. And he was the same officer who picked me up from jail. Plus, take me to the VA. Then I take me to the VA. He took me home and he raped me. Then took me to the VA. Uh, stay tuned for part two. So as you see right there, then he uh, this happened on you know multiple times, multiple times this occurred. Salute to uh, who is it? Let me let me see this. Hold on, I see N three D two. Salute says I just subscribed. Ratchet major. Salute to you for being the voice for the silent RG four L. Salute to you for that ten piece. I appreciate you. Salute, salute, salute. Let's continue this, y'all. So I'm at the VA because I'm so a veteran. She's a veteran. She's at the VA. But like I said, this this happened multiple times. This dude just completely abusing his power at this point, man. This dude is completely abusing his power. Make sure y'all smash that like button. If you're just now getting into this live, make sure you smash the like button. We got 1,300 people over here. We need more likes. It should be way more than 500 likes. This this lady needs justice. This lady needs justice. We are 10 piece away from a honey, a honey bun. Let's get to it, man. Get the likes up. Get the likes up. Let's go. So I'm at the VA because I'm a veteran. Um... He made sure he stayed there with me while I was, while they were like triaging me or whatever, just to make sure that I didn't say anything. But at that time, I didn't even know what my name was. I was mixing up family members and everything that I needed to be true. Wasn't in my right state of mind. Um, because I have a disorder that from that resulting from that situation that caused me to go manic, to cause me to go in the psychosis because of what he did so i wasn't even here mentally so um went to the va they petitioned me to go to hillcrest which is also a place where they treat veterans again this lady is a this young lady is a veteran and this man i i just think that he thought he was praying on the weak and invulnerable and he thought that he was going to get away with it and at the time she was weak and vulnerable at the time of this incident, she was, but she wasn't. She wasn't stupid, though. That, that's the thing. She wasn't stupid. She's a very intelligent young lady, and she's going after justice. So let, let's get this young lady some justice. And I went there, and they told me the only way that I could go home was if that same officer came and testified that the story with the person in the building was true. So at that time, like I felt like. That was my only way of getting home. And if I said anything, that he was going to paint me out to be, you know, crazy. And say, you know, anything different towards my story. 
So she's saying at this time she she was scared and she thought that this was gonna make you know her if she said something that he was gonna make her out to be the bad person and she was just trying to stay out of trouble you know she was scared i mean as she should be like i said some man just violated her and you know she just experienced some traumatic event you can't tell her how to how to cope with it so let, let's get back to the story you know what i'm saying it's an unfortunate story, but let's get to it. So he came and testified that everything happened with the man in the building. Um, I'm going home. The day that I'm going home, my therapist says, oh, yeah, and by the way, officer. So, so uh, someone says the girl next to her seems a little off. No concern whatsoever. All in that damn phone. I don't know. how. I don't know how y'all feel about the lady next to her. I mean, one would assume. Who do y'all think it is next to? I'm not going to assume, but I mean, from the looks of things, I think it kind of looks as if it could be. Y'all tell me, who do y'all think that is sitting next to her in, in this in this live video conversation? Who do y'all think is sitting next to her? It says, I said she all over there and too darn comfortable. It said her mother. That's her mother. Exactly. I didn't want to speculate. I, you know, it, it seems to be her mother seems to be her mom so i mean we ain't gonna say nothing i mean well i'm not gonna say nothing i'm gonna just sit here and watch and listen let's listen okay. and they're gonna say call him officer r word officer Ray officer Ray r word um <laughs> says um he was gonna pick me up so he come to pick me up and it's just like i can't get away from this person like no matter what i do so now now he didn't say it, I'm coming to pick you up. You can you can disregard everything. I'm on my way. I'm picking you up. So now after he didn't violate her, now he's trying to be the one to pick her up. Like, and after that happened, like he would just pop up in my apartment and you know, harassed me and it was just a lot going on. So that lasted all the way from July to till September. And even my VA peer supporter, she even told me that, you know, this person was going to extreme lengths. And this was from July to September, she said. July until September. Even when I was in the hospital, he was calling and asking her, you know, what's going on, what's going on with her, where is she, da, 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 just to make sure I wasn't saying anything. So I finally reported it and they found him guilty so they she finally reported it and they finally found the man guilty of, of everything of everything the chief of police found him guilty they had body cam footage they had camera footage so they got all the evidence in line all of the evidence and they found him guilty allegedly y'all allegedly that's what she's saying right they found him guilty um they had witness statements this witness statements as well officer is married his wife name is close to, can I say it's close to, Elsa. And his wife's name is close to Elsa. I, I don't know, y'all tell me. Her, his wife name is allegedly close to Elsa. So if you're hit, I mean, if that's you, you would know. But um, the next video is what they did, what they did to punish him and what's going on so what ended up happening in, in this situation y'all i sent that to myself twice what ended up happening in this case y'all so this officer was so let's see when it ended up happening y'all found guilty with an internal affairs investigation so they did an internal affairs investigation on him and found him guilty the chief of police and that's what you need to do out there internal affairs so all that corruption going on is you, you can't just keep sweeping it under the rug and i'm telling you right now it's not just birmingham it's all over alabama and no it's not just alabama there's corruption everywhere all over the place but listen and let me tell you the amount of things that are being swept under the rug in the state of alabama is insane and it's, it's not just there it's mississippi it's a, it's a few of those i don't want to say the the s word 
you know, I don't want to. It's a couple of those states. Just stay woke. We'll get to it. Police found him guilty. They had all the camera footage, the body cam footage, the witness statement. And I did the criminal, started with the criminal detectives. I stuck with him or whatever in the lineup, talked to them. They had all the evidence for me. Um, and they said it's take, you know, it's take, it will take a while for him to, you know, get in trouble criminally. But I called the DA's office and they said that it's now on their desk, like it's not with them. So what are they doing? I think they're trying to cover it up because I found out recently, which no, none of his friends are supposed to contact me or anybody that he knows, but uh, another police officer called his cell, throwing it up in my face that nothing was done uh, to him. So then another officer who they not no one's supposed to be contacting this young lady but another officer then found his way to reaching out to her and why are these officers harassing people out there and what is going on in birmingham man he told me i just want to tell you what goes on in our investigations um he was he was able to um resign so he could have some dignity so instead of firing him like they should have in which we we just gonna title it fired because fuck with fuck that he's fired i don't give a damn what you say he was fired they let him resign so he can have some dignity but why would you let a man go out with dignity after he did what he did there's no way i'm allowing no one to walk away with dignity after violating this young lady like the way he did and multiple times too it didn't just happen once it happened multiple times and he was abusing his power you let the man walk off with his head held high like he did something positive for the he didn't do nothing but traumatize this lady and oh and he joined the national guard and i think he's gonna do good in the national guard and as a veteran that's the speed of my face because i watched over stark offenders and I know exactly how soccer offenders work. Just because you joined the military, that doesn't mean that you're going to stop. And allegedly, now he's joining the military, and she feels like it's going to get even worse in there. And he shouldn't have been able to find a job. He should not. He should, actually should be in, in jail. It shouldn't just be being able to resign. The man should be locked up, should be incarcerated. Salute to Crystal Cole for that honey bun. He R words her, then he stalks her. So apparently he thinks he's Diddy, allegedly, uh, Crystal Cove, allegedly. But I do appreciate that honey bun. Salute to you. I appreciate you. Salute, salute, salute. You know, sexual assaulting someone. That puts our service members at risk and other people at risk. Because if you couldn't protect and serve your community, you can't protect and serve your country. And Birmingham Police Department has a lot of dirty cops. Birmingham Police Department has a handful. Not well, They got a lot. I'm going to be real. And it ain't just, it's not just the officers that's on the street. It's the ones behind the desk. It's the higher ups. It goes all the way into politics. It, it's, it's deep. The amount of things that's being swept under the rug. There's a whole uh rafficking ring out there I, you know the word it starts with a t it's a whole rafficking ring out there y'all they and it's more than just it's human it's uh you know the um how can i say it underage you know it's uh se whatever it's a lot of rafficking going on it, you know whether it's drugs and it's a lot H humans it's some sick shit going on out there in, in Alabama, y'all. Because it's 10 cops, at least 10 cops, that's involved in my case that should have been in trouble. The detective told me that they were going to be charged. And I have video footage of all these police officers ignoring me that day. The police officers that, that came and arrested me 10 minutes after he raped me. So these officers allegedly were witnesses and knew some ish and these officers all should have been charged with something and where she was told these officers were going to be charged with something and they never quite got around to charging these officers with anything allegedly 
they were supposed to be charged, but nothing is happening. They're still working. And even with the mahogany case. And here comes here comes the mahogany lineup. I am B Rod, 1992. Officer John Way Birmingham is the cop's name yeah i know it's officer john way salute to you i appreciate you for that two-piece though but salute 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 i'm sorry that happened to her and i feel for her and her family but these same police officers are being corrupt and we're corrupt with, with that whole situation and we're sleeping with them so as you see right there even she knows this young lady because all the man everybody know everybody business in birmingham birmingham ain't no huge place you know everybody know everybody business out there it was not no secret that them girls all of them mahogany tasia sanaya uh giovanni all of them uh, ariana they was all sleeping with police officers and and a whole bunch of uh escorting and stuff allegedly allegedly selling some uh cat and stuff allegedly they was all out there loose and they was all sleeping with police officers especially tasia especially tasia it's a lot that birmingham is not putting out like their whole department is dirty and then and we're corrupt mahogany case they were supposed to be charged but nothing is happening they're still working and even with the mahogany case i'm sorry that happened to her and i feel for her and her family but these same police officers the same police officers the same ones that were involved with her she's talking about the exact same police officers that were involved with her are being corrupt and were corrupt with, with that whole situation and we're sleeping with them like I told you, those same police officers that were involved in her case and her and they are when that, that man R worded her and they covered it up, swept it under the rug and continued to those same people were sleeping with Tasia in them and Mahogany in them. Them same officers were sleeping with Tasia in them. This ain't no secret what, what Birmingham police is out there doing. They got all them young girls loose out there in Birmingham. They they man, I'm talking about them. They out there loose in Birmingham, knocking down all them young girls out there allegedly. Them, I'm telling you, I I did some research on all these cops. They ain't nothing but a bun bunch of regular hood dudes. They it's a bunch of regular hood dudes that just got badges. So they just they they kicking it with the with the street dudes. Why you think Vito get all the information he got? All the all the street dudes is working with the law enforcement. All of them. Birmingham filled with street dudes with badges. That's some dangerous shit. It's a lot that Birmingham is not putting out. Like their whole department is dirty. And then his mother is a police officer. So that's more of the reason why they're trying to cover this up. But I'm And his mom is a police officer. Like I said, every everybody got badges out there that's corrupt out there allegedly. All the street dudes, all the bad guys got badges. That's crazy, man. Could you imagine you having a city filled with bad guys with badges, allegedly? I'm not going to give up on getting my justice. So if you live in Birmingham, please be careful and please be aware of Birmingham Police Department. And I, I pray I, don't, I would never need help from them. And she's saying, I pray I never need help from Birmingham PD. And that's crazy because those are the people that are supposed to protect and serve so those are the people that's supposed to protect and serve okay that's the one i gotta i gotta cut the volume out of this hold on so as you see right here this is one i played last night but if you see right here and it says the officer that sa'd me i am an air force veteran as you see right there air force veteran and you see right there whoop de whoop de whoop <clears throat> this is officer john wade who sa'd me multiple times and there is officer john wade and that's the same man they let get away with with, with this incident 
and walk away with his head held high. And he got to go off and join the military. The officer who arrested me at my home minutes after being essayed by Officer Wade. Like I said, it's a whole bunch of street dudes with badges out there. And uh, it's a whole bunch of street dudes with badges out there in Birmingham. Man, 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 man. Man, man, man. So as we continue here. You know what I'm saying it was it was a few officers that they said were involved in this. There's a few officers that they said would be charged. And they lied. They allegedly lied. Allegedly. So that's I'll get to her later. I'll get to her later because she's involved in this shit too. I'll get to her. I'll get to her shit in a minute. She's involved with this case too. So Let's look at this. Let's look at this. It says media release for immediate release, y'all. Tuesday, March 19th, Sergeant Laquita Wade. Sergeant Laquita Wade, Public Information Officer, Public Information Division, John Wade. Now that already just looks, I'm going to just be real. Before I even start the shit, it already looks sus. Or am I, or am I tripping or, or does it already look sus? <laughs> I don't even got, I haven't even started reading it yet. And it already looks sus. It's like, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Huh? They said, is that his mom? They said, that, that, so his mama is the sergeant? Oh, I knew she was a police officer, but don't tell me that's his boss. So his mama is his boss? Come on, fam. You gotta be, you got to be kidding me. His mama did the press release. So y'all didn't think that this was like a conflict of interest at no point. Y'all didn't think that she should have stepped down and let somebody else write this or let somebody else. Oh my goodness. This is somebody said this is unbelievable. He has other victims. I'm sure he does. I'm, this is just the one that wasn't afraid to step up and say something. I'm pretty sure this man done done this. And this it should be a Me Too movement. Uh, John Wade investigation. The Birmingham Police Department would like to provide information to the public about a serious incident involving former police officer, Mr. John Wade. In December 2023, Mr. Wade was removed from service immediately on the day serious allegations were brought to our attention. Our Internal Affairs Division and Crimes Against Persons Unit each conducted separate thorough investigations into the allegations. Upon co completion of both investigations, Mr. Wade resigned before termination. Investigators also presented case information to the District Attorney's Office to pursue criminal charges. Immediately following Mr. Wade's uh, resig resignation, the Birmingham Police Department made a formal request to the Alabama Peace Officer Standards and Trainings Commission to revoke Mr. Wade's certification. It is important to ensure the community that the Birmingham Police Department has taken appropriate action in this investigation. Chief Scott Thurman believes transparency and accountability to our community will always remain our goal. Man, man, man. This information is was is based on a preliminary and ongoing investigation which continues to evolve as investigators interview witnesses review physical and electronic in electronic records and analyze forensic evidence the department's understanding of the facts and circumstances may change as additional evidence is collected and analyzed man 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 so that was Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. They they felt like they had to they felt like they had to get that damn information out. So as you see here, it says Birmingham PD, I hate you. It should have never taken me to make a TikTok for y'all to do your job and make sure he tell y'all who he had watching me at the scholar, including the maintenance man. 
y'all wonder how he got my keys to my apartment so he then went to the maintenance man and got the keys to this lady apartment he had the maintenance man watching this lady and you know maintenance got keys to everybody's stuff they said somebody said Vito said that man Vito connected in with police man of course he said that dude that dude police of course he said it they did that so others won't come forward they said wow that's sick so the maintenance man didn't probably been in this like man come on man what's the maintenance men corrupt the police corrupt everybody out there in alabama just how are you not protecting it so you just was able hey man let me get them keys he's like, all right bro here you go come on fam i ain't giving them no keys to what the hell no, i ain't giving you no keys man you better go get them from the other office salute ratchet and all my ratchet family love you all relax and stay safe i can't believe what you just read out it's all adding up now salute lisa marie on that uh, dublin five piece i appreciate you salute 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 so this is obviously coming from the young lady that was r-worded by the man and it says from the internal affairs investigation all i want is for him to be behind bars for what he did to me proof evidence and being found guilty is one investigation outweighs everyone's opinions and she's saying she's talking to internal affairs as she should be and this man needs to be held responsible he needs to be he should be behind bars i don't know why they not acting like they're trying to uh prosecute this man she's saying they're trying to let him off they acting like they're trying to pursue charges but like i said you see here they sending her a lot of mail and it says we are in receipt of your complaint and we appreciate you bringing this matter to our attention your complaint was referred to the appropriate command and a thorough investigation was conducted your complaint has been uh, sustained and proper action has been taken that's what they wrote her that's what they wrote her hold on and let's continue here let's continue here and it says a jamerical h officer howard aren't you one of the many officers who treated me like ish in the jail y'all had me locked in a cell with no air because y'all got mad i had a seizure y'all didn't provide me with any hygiene items salute to jess b 2024 is the year of ex exposure keep exposing them as you always do king salute salute to you for that 20 piece i appreciate you salute 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 she says uh y'all got mad because i had a seizure y'all didn't provide me with any hygiene items not allowing me to shower or come out why did officer wade go to my apartment and was able to get my keys and get my medicine from my house that y'all were forcing me to take because y'all figured out i had a, i had a, uh i had epilepsy it says then y'all would pick with me at all times of the night i remember you always flashing the light in my cell on purpose saying smart remarks you asked me what my name was and then said oh lord when i said it y'all used to throw food down on the ground like i was a dog to be exact officer wilson which is a female officer at the jail i was screaming and hollering under my bed experiencing flashbacks of being r-worded and the military i couldn't sleep because y'all continued to pick with me while i was there a male officer would even come in my cell and ask me if i was ready to be saved and what the hell y'all listening to this crazy stuff she says a male officer would even come to my cell and ask me if i was ready to be saved and when i would say no he would close the door i don't know what he would have done to me if i said yes to that question y'all kept me locked in a cell for 10 days why did everybody in that in that come to my cell and take turns bringing me the food uh, bringing the food excuse me why did lieutenant bring me the food himself and curse and get smart with me all of y'all knew what happened and y'all trying to cover it up 
after being given a bond of $300, y'all still held me there. When I did finally go to court again, y'all called Wade and told him to take me to the VA. Why did Wade come there with a bag of clothes from my house? Y'all put me in his hands again, knowing I didn't even know what my name was. Y'all even told me that I wasn't forming sentences for days and that I had been screaming. Man, this is sick, y'all. This is some sick shit. And it continues. And it continues. Uh, she says, sentences for days and that I have been screaming and hollering for 10 days. Y'all put me in his hands only for him not to take me straight to the VA. He R-worded me first, then took me to the VA. He went to extreme lengths to make sure I wasn't saying anything, so he stayed in contact with the VA and Hillcrest. He called my peer support for PTSD MST several times asking questions about me, how I was doing, and what was going on to make sure I wasn't saying anything about what happened. Honey, you just opened a can of worms that you shouldn't have because just like Internal Affairs did their investigation and found him guilty, they already know about how you treated me in the jail. So all of y'all female and male officers that were involved, I suggest you don't make posts like Howard just did because now the whole story is coming out and yes you were my you were my responding officer hours before uh, me being held hostage by a person who has held several girls hostage in that building and y'all know y'all have several reports of him doing it to females internal affairs even admitted that they knew everything that i was saying they knew everything that i said was true because they have reports and evidence of him doing this to their girls in the building internal affairs would have never apologized and clearly uh said birmingham failed me which you did they have body cam footage camera footage witness statements and more the chief and more the chief of police has already found way guilty of everything that he has done and don't make me post the screenshots that have uh that have from other victims including him r wording a minor in his family and dang, man they saying uh, officer john wade r worded a minor in his family and women are still being harassed by the same man who held me hostage and i have screenshots of that and i'm no fool either i still have screenshots and video footage of everything all of y'all officers are corrupt and sticking together don't post and get scared now that the truth is coming out y'all didn't want this to get out y'all didn't intend on me making it out of jail let alone hillcrest jokes on y'all screenshots man 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 so screenshots from other victims in the comments now look at this it says hello my name is blank officer blank man is my cousin i hate to meet you like this but i'm so proud and happy you did what you did years ago he did the same thing to my daughter who is 18 now i told everyone and everybody what he had done to my baby she had counseling and more i really hate him for what he did to my child he was never supposed to be a cop for anyone I pray you get the justice you deserve. You have me and my baby's support. If you need anything, feel free to contact me at blank anytime you feel. I truly apologize for what you went through. So his own family even reached out to her and confirmed that this man R-worded his minor cousin, allegedly. Allegedly, man, this dude is, and, and they still let him walk out with his head held high, filled with dignity. Like, you know, they let him walk out with some pride about himself. They didn't want to embarrass him. <clears throat> Allegedly. Man, this is sick. This is sick, y'all. Man, man, man. Let's continue. 
it says hey i seen your video and want to let you know you're not the only one because john wade is my cousin and assaulted me for year when i was younger and no one believed me anyways thank you for telling your truth and i support you fully so like i said the mama and the mama and the uh cousin and reached out man the aunt and cut man come on man this dude he didn't r worded his younger cousin come on fam. so it says just like you should never take sides when it's more than one story to the situation i've been on a call with this young lady before she is mentally unstable wade is a great person i honestly don't believe this all i can say is he's a great person he come to my job every morning he's always had good character from my interaction with him read the comments man 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 not people vouching for this dude not pe people vouching for this dude it says since you had so much to say in the comments and that's the screenshot of that and it says siri play boosie crazy and it says yeah keep my sister out this ish it can get real personal i promise you that man sorry, man man Oh shit! I was like, "Hold on, what the hell?" I, my Siri was in the damn background. I don't understand. I ain't talking to you, Siri. What the hell? Scared the hell out of me, man, man, man. And like I said, they launched an internal affairs investigation, Birmingham Police Department, and then they released the whoop de whoop de whoop. And that that what I showed y'all earlier was John Wade's sister. She's been on Facebook under the post defending every comment someone said it's his sister when i looked at her page her background pick is a headstone with the last name wade and that was his sister whenever you go back up in here there goes his sister right there so we already didn't found your people man john wade we know what you didn't did man john wade you can you can't escape what you did brother you can't escape what you did, man. You a monster, dog. You a damn monster, John Wade. And there you go, right there. Man, man, man. And she from Birmingham. Whoop dee, whoop dee, whoop. Number two out of my six, Mama raised some good men. I'm so proud of you, bro. They said you wouldn't live to see three but you 26 and doing big things god always in control love you congratulations to you and graduating class bpd finest little bruh feeling proud and that's her giving her respects oh my god is that little john and that's that's her brother john and it says yeah nephew congratulations <sighs> john so mr john wade officer john wade let's chop it up about officer john wade man a sexual assault allegation has been raised against a former birmingham police officer bpd says that john wade was immediately removed from service and then later quit once these allegations came to light last december wade did lose his certification and we do not yet know if he will be charged they don't know if he's going to be charged how would you not know if the man gonna be charged how is there not criminal charges against this man right now as we speak how is there not criminal charges against the man so let's continue it says the birmingham police department addressed a series of TikTok videos claiming a woman was essayed by a former police officer last year the woman who identified herself as a u.s air force veteran and pre-med student at uab posted videos over the weekend accusing ex-officer john wade of r-wording her in july of 2023 the videos went viral and sparked an outrage with thousands of likes and shares police officers confirmed they received a complaint of sa against wade in december and launched an internal and criminal investigation wade resigned amid the investigations but has not been charged with any crime jefferson county district attorney danny carr danny carr comes up again y'all stated that 
a review of the evidence did not warrant criminal charges based on this the same dude in the mahogany case y'all and jefferson county ain't shit they said jefferson county district attorney danny carr stated the, that a review of the evidence did not warrant criminal charges so you able to strip off your body cam put a young lady whoop de whoop de whoop take off your uh police clothes and do whatever the hell you want to do to anybody and 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 that and then cover it up stalk the lady harass the lady get keys to her apartment go inside of her apartment while she's not there pick up her medicine and, and get and pack some clothes for her, bring them to her call her doctors call her school completely harass this lady and do it again like three different times you are worded this young lady and swept it under the rug and that doesn't warrant for criminal charges okay so what the fuck warrants for criminal charges in alabama it says jefferson county district attorney danny carr stated that a review of the evidence did not warrant criminal charges based on the information provided at this point the woman who has not given consent to her name for her name to be used said in the videos that she was held hostage in her apartment building and was walking towards uab's campus uh for help when wade approached her she alleged that wade took her to campus to meet with her mentor but when the mentor was not there he insisted on going to her apartment the woman claimed that wade essayed her after removing his body camera and then left the scene she said she was then taken to jail on a disorderly conduct charge and held there for 10 days the woman recounted that wade had allegedly obtained the keys to her apartment while she was incarcerated and brought her medications to jail she claimed that wade took her to the va hospital before she was sent to hillcrest behavioral health service health services she stated that wade was able to leave the facility only after he confirmed the incident that she had reported was true the woman accused wade of going of excuse me of ongoing interactions with her from july to september and reported the incident to the birmingham police department she said her allegations were confirmed and that wade was allowed to resign from his position she claimed to have identified wade in a lineup and accused other officers in her case of misconduct sergeant laquita wade who is not related to the accused officer they said they saying she ain't related y'all now they saying in this report y'all saying that's his mama but they saying no nah, no nah, no nah, she ain't related to him it's just a, it's just a coincidence so listen to this sergeant laquita wade who is not related to the accused officer released a statement on behalf of the birmingham police department assuring the community that appropriate action has been taken in the investigation the internal affairs division and crimes against persons investigate investigators conducted separate thorough investigations into the allegations against wade leading to his resignation before termination the department also submitted a formal request to the Alabama Peace Officer Standards and Training Commissions to revoke Wade's certification. Chief Scott Thurman emphasized transparency and accountability to the community as uh, the department's goal. The woman in the videos expressed concern that the incident was being covered up and called for accountability of all officers involved in her case. She shared a letter indicating that her complaint had been sustained the birmingham police department reiterated that uh they had taken appropriate action in response to the allegations against wade and emphasized their commitment to transparency to transparency and accountability and accountability while the investigators did not result in investigation did not result in criminal charges at that time the department made efforts to ensure that wade could no longer work in the law enforcement and it says this case highlighted the importance of addressing the allegations of misconduct within law enforcement agencies and the need for a thorough and transparent investigation process thank you for diving into this mystery with us uh oh that's that's the shit all right but yeah that's uh that's the report coming from this case man and it's 
Uh, what what do y'all feel? What do y'all feel about this case, man? Birmingham got a lot of ish going on. So here we go. Birmingham police officer accused of on duty blank resigns. No criminal charges are filed, y'all. The Birmingham Police Department on Tuesday addressed a series of TikTok videos posted by a woman who says she was essayed by an on duty officer. The woman who said in her videos she is a U.S. Air Force veteran, pre med student, y'all. And they said the videos were liked and shared thousands of times. Police officials on Tuesday acknowledged they received a complaint of SA allegations against Wade in December and immediately launched an internal and criminal investigation. Wade resigned amid the investigation. He has not been charged with any crime. Efforts to locate him for comment were not immediately successful. Jefferson County District Attorney Danny Carr said detectives presented the case to the prosecutors and a review of the evidence did not warrant criminal charges based on the information provided at this point. Efforts to reach the woman who posted the videos were not immediately successful. Though she identified herself in the videos, AL.com is not identifying her because she has not given consent to have her name used. It says, the woman said, there was an incident in her apartment building she had been held hostage by someone and she was walking towards uab campus trying to get help when wade approached her she said wade took her to campus to meet with the woman's mentor however the person wasn't there she said she asked to go see someone else but wade said he wanted to go to her apartment the woman said she was hallucinating during the incident she said wade took off his body camera essayed her and left he made her do things no woman should have to go through, she said on that video. Ten minutes later, she said two other officers came to her apartment and took her to jail on a disorderly conduct charge. She said she was held in jail for 10 days. I was in a psychosis, so I didn't even know my name, she said. The woman said while she was in jail, Wade was able to get the keys to her apartment and brought her medications to jail. She said Wade took her to the VA hospital. It wasn't clear when the allegation when when that allegedly happened. She said she was sent to Hillcrest Behavioral Health Services and uh, she was told the only way that she could leave is if Wade came and told them that the incident she said happened in her building prior to the alleged essay was true. She said Wade then came to Hillcrest to take her home. The woman said the interactions with Wade lasted from July to September. She said she finally reported the incident to the Birmingham Police Department. She said the allegations made her uh, she said the allegations made by her were confirmed and Wade was allowed to resign. She said she pursued criminal charges as well and she said she picked Wade out of a lineup. There's at least 10 cops involved in my case that should have been in trouble, she said. They're still working. She said uh, she posted a letter saying her complaint has been sustained. The woman in her videos said she felt like the incident is being covered up. Sergeant Laquita Wade, who is in no relation to the accused officer, uh, released a statement on the department's behalf. The department would like to provide information to the public. And I already read that to y'all about the damn shit she said. And they just basically bullshitting with us. The department basically just bullshitting with us at this point. So as you see, Birmingham, Alabama got a whole bunch of looseness going on in their department. They got a whole bunch of looseness going on in, in their department out there in, in Birmingham, man. Let's just go ahead and call it what it is. The Alabama town shakedown are, man, hold on. So the, the department, they, they got all type of shit going uh going on out there in, in alabama alabama's predatory police force so they got a like i said the, the police force is under investigation for all of these crimes that they got going on it's, it's not just this case when i tell y'all alabama is just loose in general it don't matter what case you talking about pick a case out the out your hat pick a case out your hat Let's get to this real quick. True crime. Did you see the five part series where this woman, Jamaria, describes how this Birmingham police officer, John Wade, raped her? This is an allegation. Jamaria says he was charged and found guilty of the crime. Her series describes the horror 
of trusting this man, John Wade, and then the aftermath of what happened as he became obsessed with her. Her story begins as she describes having some kind of altercation or issue um, in her building. And she walked around looking for a police officers to report it to. But she Again, I want to know from y'all in the chat, how do y'all feel about this situation with Officer John Wade? And a lot of y'all still say y'all haven't even heard of this case. We have 750 likes. We need 50 likes right now to get to uh, 800 likes. Let's get these likes up. I want to know from y'all in the chat, how do y'all feel about this, this case with Officer John Wade? Do y'all, I mean, because y'all haven't even heard of this case and this is not getting any attention nowhere. Nobody's talking about this case again alabama don't want you to know about this why do you think they made that law they just passed a law where you can't even look up police if a police is involved in a crime you can't even look it up no more you can't get access to to crimes no more especially if it's involving a police officer no anymore let's keep this a big buck y'all alabama and birmingham especially out there doing some dirty work she couldn't find one she happened upon John Wade driving by in his police vehicle and he stopped and said, hey, I heard about you. What do you need? Do you need some help? So she said, yes, I do need help. I need to go and talk to some people. I would like to go to campus. And he said, why don't you get in my car and I will drive you. So and she he drives her to campus so that she can speak with whoever she needs to speak to. But that person was working from home that day. So she asked him, well, can you take me somewhere else? Because I have another mentor that I can speak with. I know they'll be able to help me. And of course, he wasn't trying to hear that because he was trying to he was trying to do something strange. Mm -hmm. See, these police officers. They think that they could just do whatever the hell they want to out there in Birmingham, man. Because they a whole bunch of criminals, them damn, they damn selves. Most of the damn police officers got, they got badges. They, they criminals out there, allegedly. Instead of taking her where she wanted to go, this is what she said John Wade did. So, um, instead he was like, oh, I just want to go to your apartment, see how everything looks. Uh, and I was like, why do you want to go to my apartment? Because it didn't happen in my apartment. It happened in my apartment building. Why do you want to go to my apartment? So he kept saying, I just want to go have to see how it looks. So around this time, I'm already hallucinating. Um, Again, the woman wasn't even in her right state of mind. She said she was in a like psychosis. And they, they didn't mistreated her in jail. Wouldn't let her shower. Didn't give her nothing for hygiene and throwing food on the ground like she was a dog in jail it's a sad case man this is a sad case we go to my apartment i'm talking to him i'm telling him my story i had a studio apartment near campus so he's sitting on my bed i'm sitting in my beanbag chair i'm telling him my story and he throws off his body cam and it's me telling my story i'm already hallucinating and at this point he could tell that I had to text from myself. And um, he was like, he threw off his body cam. Again, threw off the, the body cam and they got the evidence of him doing this. Not only is she telling the story, they also got the evidence to back up her story and say her story is true. That's the crazy part. The, they, the cops even say, you know what? The story is true, but we still not gonna arrest him. Then he asked me, he said, Jamaria, so I guess our word ain't a crime in, in Alabama, which is insane. I need you to do something for me. And I was like, okay, so I'm thinking he's talking about paperwork or, you know, go on downstairs, talk to the girls in the building about what happened. Um, but instead he pulls down his pants um, and rape me. And make me, you know, do things that no woman should ever go through. So after that, he leaves. 10 minutes after that, two officers come and arrest me disorderly this woman is a veteran she accepted the help that was offered by birmingham police officer john wade and he turned around and assaulted her and the man didn't go to jail and they acting like they're gonna launch an investigation and no criminal charges because the same cops that were involved in this case were the same cops are, are the same cops that are allowing 
the eight people to not be held accountable because we know what charges all of them should have got. They should have upgraded their charges in the Mahogany Jackson case. And they letting these people get a slap on the wrist because these officers were sleeping with them and they got ties to the police force out there. Just like this young lady, they trying to wash her case under the rug. They trying to make it go away. They don't want justice in uh, Birmingham, allegedly. Then had her arrested and then continued to become obsessed with her, trying to see if she would ever tell on him and inform the authorities about what he did. She did. According to Jamaria, Birmingham police officer John Wade was allowed to resign from his job in order to protect his dignity. And then he was allowed to sign up to work for the National Guard. Jamaria believes once a predator, always a predator. So she's worried about the women that he's going to come into contact with as a National Guardsman. Of course, I believe the man shouldn't be allowed to work nowhere. There shouldn't be no way in hell this man is allowed to continue to work, especially National Guard, and continue to move forward like he didn't do what he did. Which is why she decides to speak out today. She wants to warn women to please be careful. John Wade could become the protector that you need protection from. Follow for more. Man, 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 man. So like I said, it's not just that case. It's, it's hella cases that's going on out there in, in Alabama. You can just pick one out, out, out your hat and the shit gonna come up and let you know. Hold on, man. We got more videos. I want to show y'all some more shit. I want to show y'all some more shit. Listen to this. Now listen to the, listen to more stories like this in Alabama. Let's, let's chop it up real quick, gang. Let's chop it up real quick. Let's get to another story. The call to action. Tuscaloosa, Alabama, you guys are up. Michael Epps Jr. I'm not going to show his face because his injuries are so bad that TikTok would probably ban me or block me. That's his good eye. Just to give you an idea. December the 19th, which was Tuesday, around 10 o'clock p.m., he was pulled over by the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Department. Happened to already be on the phone with his mother while he was being stopped. And she, the mother heard when the sheriff came up to the car, asked him to step out of the vehicle. He complied and polite. So y'all see, it's another story out there in Alabama. A, a whole nother story. It doesn't matter. You could just pick a story. There's so many out there in Alabama to cover that they out there that I'm talking about, man, there's some sick shit going on out there. He said, yes, sir. And proceeded to comply when he asked why do you want me to step out of the vehicle? What did I do? They claimed that he ran a stop sign, which that's not true. They were just picking with this boy. You know, he could be heard screaming for help, begging for his life and begging for anybody to come help him. And it was at that moment that his sister, because she, she called also, his sister heard the screams. She had his her husband get up and they literally jumped in their vehicle and drove down the street so you see they had to they heard the man screaming and begging for his life this happened out there in alabama y'all tuscaloosa michael epps senior excuse me junior man this is shit crazy out there man it was about maybe seven eight minutes away it's, it's about seven or eight minutes if you walked but where he was was walking distance from the house sister and her husband arrived they had Michael on the ground. They had one cuff on him and um, they had their body weight on him and they were tasing him repeatedly. They were tasing him repeatedly while putting hands on him. Witnessed by the sister and her husband and then the mom and dad decided to come down there too because they had a bad feeling. And when they came down there, they had uh, Michael, they had him handcuffed on the ground and still putting hands on him man 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 this is some what the hell is going on y'all what the hell is going on y'all y'all get the likes up man make sure y'all get the likes so let this go get trending down the algorithm man make sure y'all smash that like button. literally he was handcuffed he was defenseless 
and they were still putting hands on him. some of the marks. Just a little bit. Taser's gone in multiple times. Yep. This is sad. I mean, look at all these taser marks. These are tasers all over his body. What you're telling me is, Tuscaloosa Police Department, that if somebody runs a stop sign, quote unquote, allegedly, um, while being less than 10 feet away from their residence, you beat them, you tase them, and you pull their hair out. You see, you hear that craziness, madness, going the, the police force, just it's not even just Birmingham. Like I said, it's Alabama is just a crazy, crazy place right now. I, I don't know what what's going on. I, I said there's something in the water out there in Alabama. It, not even just Birmingham, bro. It's all over Alabama. Repeatedly. People, we have another brother who's left with trauma, who's left with confusion, just because he asked, why am I being arrested for allegedly running a stop sign? Worse than that. Because when the mother and father went over and was questioning, why are you doing this to my son? What are you doing? The dad was thrown to the ground for trying to protect his unarmed son. The mother was pushed by one of the deputies in questions. This is a call to action. We want body cam footage. We want accountability. And they ain't gonna give you no body cam footage. See, that's the crazy part out there in Alabama, getting the body cam and getting, so they not giving up stuff like that. And they just feel like they just don't have to. And I've never seen no stuff like that. You think you got a freedom of information and they like, no, 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 ain't no freedom out here. Nah, what, what, what y'all talking about? No, we don't do that out here. Because you're not getting away with this stuff no more. We want accountability. And people record everything because they cannot be trusted because they're going to lie on you and they're going to try to put stuff on you just to make sure that they try to get off. Just like them Elmores. Alabama, man, look, a call to action, y'all. As I get more information, I'll bring it to you guys. Man, man, man. Like I said, that's another crazy story out there in Alabama. And you ain't going to hear about, you're not going to hear about none of this. These type of stories don't even hit the, I mean, you might, they hit the internet a little bit, but they don't want, they don't want stories like that getting out. Just like they don't want stories like this getting out. What's going on out there in Alabama? They don't want stories like this getting out in the prison system, man. Let's let's get to this. Things gotten so bad lately, uh, it's almost like it's unbelievable to believe that the things that happen in the Alabama prison system and how they treat prisoners in this state is really a shame on the state. And it's a bad look. Uh, the things that they are doing, they are, they are not only criminal and shameful, they are, they are a disgrace. You know, I had an investigator from the uh, Alabama Apple scene reached out to me, and it was hard for him to believe that that, that, um, that there's evidence that, that Alabama medical examiners are actually harvesting um, body organs and, and things of this nature. And they he's saying that Alabama... They're harvesting body parts out there, allegedly. Allegedly. Now, is there truth to this, y'all? I mean, like I said, it's some, it's some crazy stuff going on out there in Alabama. And they are saying that Alabama is out there, is out there harvesting bodies. Man, they saying Alabama is out there harvesting bodies, y'all. Body parts, allegedly. And, uh, and that DOC uh, officials are in I would say they in agreement with it because of the stalling process of returning turning deceased bodies back to the loved ones, even loved ones who are demanding to have they, they bodies back. And these things are, like I say, they're hard to believe that a government agency, a legitimate government agency will, will stoop so low and, and do these things. But, but Alabama's in need of, of money right now. Saying Alabama going broke, Alabama in need of some bread. What's going on out there in Alabama, y'all? What, what, what is going on out there in Bama, y'all? And, uh, and, and and that is a way to make money with so many people dying in the system. And you think about it, you get a few lungs, you get livers, you get hearts, you get kidneys and things like that from all the guys that have died with nearly 400 this year. And uh, that's a, that, that adds up to a lot of money. So I, it put, it put, I put nothing past it. 
but I do believe that truth will, will come out. I do believe that God sees everything and, and what's done in the dark will come to light. And like I said, just unbelievable. But um, uh, and it's just hard to believe. And they have lost all their credibility. It, I think Alabama don't got. I, I'm gonna be real. Alabama lost their credibility a long time ago, especially with the Carly Russell shit. All the credibility got threw out the window a while back in in, in, in Alabama, man. DOC, uh, our government officials, people are losing their credibility by the way they treat people, and the lies are adding up and it's catching up with them to the point where you can only lie so so much and you can only lie for so long. So uh, it's real disturbing, so disturbing that I said, man, I w- I'm just in need of a break. I need to get a break. From advocacy for a while, just to, just to clear my thoughts and just to get some rest, and just to um, just to, this is just pray, sit back and pray, and just trust God, because God is really the the only answer, the only one that can expose. Uh, we can do our part as people, but God is the only one that can really bring. That's true, that's true. But nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that. They just want chaos. Not too many people want to hear the word. They don't want to hear the word that's going to save them. They want to hear chaos. Bring exposure to um to 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 this madness. So um man, I just man, my heart go out to the people that lost so many loved ones and, and people that are hurt as a result of um of what's going on here. People are in pain. You people have lost all they had. A mother losing her child is 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 the most precious gift that God can give a person, and to lose it recklessly in the system to where uh, uh they don't care, and, and the more they show displays of not caring. The more it encourages um, other guys, some guys in here to act out. And that's facts. That's facts. Get the likes up, y'all. That leads to, to more death and sadness and tragedy, man. So my heart just go out to everybody, but I do think I need a couple of days break and rest because I'm exhausted. I think we all exhausted at this point, man. I think we all exhausted at this point, man, because we be wanting answers and it's just answers, unfortunately, we just never going to get unfortunately it's just always gonna be some answers we are just we just not gonna get man let's continue to listen to some stories out there in alabama man we're not done with alabama let's listen to this let's go hi my name is linda gale i um recorded a video on yesterday and posted to to TikTok and it was taken down for community guidelines. So I'm here to post another one. Hopefully this one does not get taken down. Again, my name is Linda Gale. On April the 1st, 2022, my son, Etienne Murray, was murdered by. So another another unaliving another unaliving y'all morgan born hill on windy hill court east and this is mobile alabama y'all mobile in tillman's corner of mobile alabama morgan has been let out on two hundred thousand dollar bond morgan invited my son over to a barbecue when my son turned his back Morgan proceeded to beat my child in the back of his head with a um, shovel, a metal pipe, and two by fours. What is going on in Alabama, y'all? Somebody said, what is going on? Shaking my head, Nuki so sad. Nuki said, our hospital treats us like brats. I've never... I've never I have had their students do procedures on me so they saying even the 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 hospitals are corrupt they saying the hospitals in Alabama are corrupt y'all damn after he murdered my son he zip tied his legs followed the other people that were in the trailer home and told them that if they told anybody he would kill them as well. Morgan was dating a 27 year old woman who has the mental capacity of a 14 year old at the time. He stole her phone and threatened to kill her if So this dude was just trying to unalive everybody in the process of doing the things he did to her son and this, this title says Justice for ETN, Mobile, Mobile Alabama County Just, Justice System. They saying it's not good either. Mobile, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham. She told as well. 
the Mobile County District Attorney's Office did not inform me that his bond was being lowered from $500,000 to $200,000. Then they didn't inform me that Morgan was bonded out of jail and is living two and a half miles away from my home. His mother thinks it's okay because so the man living two and a half miles from her house after doing that, bonding out, bonding out of jail after doing that to her son and then moving right within distance of her. Like, what the heck is going on? Because he has an ankle monitor on. After Morgan killed my child, he texted me a message saying, yes, I killed your child. I hit him with a metal pipe. Uh, the, the other people in this, in the house, were not involved and did not know anything about it. I have to fight for my son. If it takes my last breath, I will fight for my child. My child didn't deserve this. Nobody's child deserves this. Again, man, like, whoa. You don't even know what to say when it comes to this type of stuff, man. You know, the mama out there just fighting. That's all she can do is fight for her, her baby. That's all she knows. So, you know, my heart goes out to this lady. My heart goes out to her and, you know, prayers up for her. And, you know, uh, I wish I, w I wish it was something we could do out there, man, you know, to help these people. And I just w I just want to use this platform to do as much as we can, man, to bring as much awareness to these incidences that we should so let's continue, man. If you're so inclined and want to help, you can contact Kathy Bornhill at 2515. Yeah, I don't want to put nobody's number on there, but, you know, I'll I, I move it up. But I don't want to, y'all can go check it out. Six, I'm saying, hold on, hold on, hold on. Attorney's office at 251 should not be out on bond after he premeditated and intentionally left my child to die on the ground. Then he called the police and told the police that he did not know my son and that my son was trying to break into his story shed, so therefore he had to beat him in the back of his head. So he said he didn't even know his, her son. That is crazy, man. That, that is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That is a crazy, crazy story. Man. Which all turned out to be lies. After Morgan murdered my son, he went around telling everybody he always wanted to kill. So this dude, what the hell is going on in Alabama? Alle allegedly, allegedly. N word, and he finally killed himself for N word. He, he they saying this dude. Uh, so maybe this could be some type of hate crime. I don't know. I don't know. Allegedly, y'all. Uh, allegedly and told the people in jail the very same thing that he all so again you know the dude is saying he always wants to do it please help please share this repost this let everybody know because i don't want this to be swept under the rug i want justice for my child please please help me if you can thank you that's heartbreaking man i ain't gonna lie that 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 one is hard to that's hard to watch man that one's a hard one to watch right there because she crying out for help and she not getting no answers again alabama not giving nobody answers and doing whatever they want to do doing whatever they want to do just doing whatever they want to do to to whoever they want to do it to starting to get insane bro it's like bro what the hell is going on even after we just got done watching something that had like you know we just got done watching the mahogany jackson case now we start to see man it ain't, it ain't no love out there i i don't that's that's heartbreaking man that one is heartbreaking and, and it's hard to even it's hard to even cover something like that you know what i'm saying it is hard so look at this look look at listen to more stories out there 
officer accused of making swatting calls to police thinking it was funny listen to this y'all you can't make this stuff up montgomery alabama the prattville police department arrested and charged a law enforcement officer on multiple counts of filing false reports of an incident prattville police chief mark thompson said the suspect christopher eugene sanspree jr 23 of montgomery is accused of making at least six calls to prattville police over a three-month period sanspree who is employed by the montgomery police department was on duty at the time of the incidents thompson said he was arrested in montgomery and uh they said thompson said he was arrested in montgomery and taken to atuga county alabama february 7th but was later released on bond captain raymond carson with montgomery police department of office and uh of professional standards confirmed sanspree has been with the department 28 months and was on patrol duty at the time of his arrest and is currently on administrative administrative assignment thompson said the false calls referred to as swatting started october 30th and continued through late december he said while his department can prove Sanspree's connection to false calls in his jurisdiction, the investigation may extend far beyond Alabama. Thompson said his department is working with law enforcement agencies as far as Georgia, Wyoming, and Massachusetts to determine if swatting calls in those places are connected. The chief said the first call to Prattville police described a, subject, a su subject laying in the front yard apparently boomed it says later uh he said the department started receiving different calls reporting seeing people breaking in cars vehicles running with a machete still uh other calls reported a man walking around with a blood trail seeing a man running with a machete people laying in the street and you know whoopie whoop it says after his arrest thompson said it remained unclear why sanspree allegedly made the swatting calls uh though the chief noticed sanspree said in one statement he thought it was funny asked uh for his reaction to an on-duty officer allegedly committing these crimes and thinking it was funny thompson was blunt point blake honest with you it pissed me off he stated we have enough to deal with with an image of police officers already and then we have somebody to do and we have something like this and he was on duty at the time he was doing this thompson said so yeah it highly irritates me and uh, other law enforcement chiefs that are trying to keep the image of law enforcement being an honorable career uh and then the people have uh, to deal with stunts like this thompson said his department thompson said his department takes incidents seriously noting there have been some incidences where false calls were ambushes we never know what we're uh going into with these types of calls and for him being a police officer he would have full knowledge of that so again bro as you see right there the, the alabama just got a whole bunch of loose shit going on in general man what is, what is going on out there in alabama what these people is just making even the police distinct shit funny out there they, they they out there committing crimes just like the rest of these people allegedly allegedly man allegedly how do y'all feel about that? how y'all feel about alabama right now just just let me know in the chat how are y'all feeling about alabama police department i mean not police department alabama is all of alabama's police departments whether that be uh montgomery whether that be birmingham tuscaloosa I, i'm telling you i could just pick cases out my out my hat right now they saying Chicago. I think Alabama is turning into Illinois. I ain't gonna lie, man. Some parts of Alabama are getting worse than Chicago. They said corrupt. Ain't Alabama the ones hunching their family? Allegedly, Chelsea. Allegedly. It says I'm a side out of the whole state. Sweet home Alabama. Shit. They said it's loose AF. Everybody crooked. Alabama loose. Jasper Wild too. Yeah, you already know old girl came from Jasper. You know what I'm saying? Keep that a big buck. 
it's a whole bunch of shit going popping off out there let me drop this link in case anybody want to call in and chop it up about any of these stories or if anybody got any you know what I'm saying, stories that they own out there in alabama dealing with these corrupt police dealing with these uh crazy ass police departments dealing with the higher ups does anybody got anything you know what I'm saying they want to shed some light on alabama i know it's a, i know we got some alabamians in this motherfucker it's a sad story i wouldn't advise nobody to move here anything nu- nuki said she ain't advising nobody to move out there nuki didn't you have a story that, that you was just sharing in the comments you can call up here as well it says damn no one is safe out there facts all right now y'all they said all right now y'all get bama now that's why now i understand why everybody in alabama was saying fam why is y'all still talking about that why is y'all still talking about that hold on what the hell is i can't get okay there i was like why the hell is this on my damn screen all right cool so yeah i i understand now people was like bro why is y'all still talking about uh mahogany fam like there's so much shit going on out here now now it makes perfect sense man it's a whole bunch of loose ass shit going on out there i'm gonna just keep it all the way a book i'm gonna just keep it all the way a book man alabama is just loose i don't even know what to say about it alabama is just one loose one loose state let me read some comments it says what's the governor doing about this have you be be real uh lovely tanya have y'all heard the anybody make a statement and say anything they not talking about none of this shit going on in alabama they covering it all up they don't want to talk about none of the things that, that that's transpiring in, in alabama right now you ain't hearing the mayor speak up about you didn't hear the mayor make a no statement about mahogany yeah because all the police is out there sleeping with all them damn girls and stuff that's that's what's going on the police out there messing with these damn young ladies on in, in all these situations i was doing some research just looking up some stuff on in alabama and i'm telling y'all right now them police officers is just a whole bunch of street dudes that's all it is a whole bunch of street dudes <clears throat> allegedly to all over the world i'm just letting y'all know now they said ain't doing nothing they said k ivy ain't doing nothing ain't nobody doing nothing in uh, alabama they said they are a gang they are worse than any gang that's been formed out there in alabama they i'm telling you the street dudes is connected to all the gangs i mean the street dudes is connected to all the police the police got the, the ones who got badges are the criminals they the ones who steal in the hood selling work and whoop de whoop de whoop hey we a hundred likes away from a thousand can we get it up to a thousand likes tonight y'all can we get this up to a thousand likes tonight y'all i want to see if we can get to a thousand likes right now man we got still got 1600 people in here man make sure y'all smash that like button and this is on a this is on a, a light night where i mean who even know i don't even know if nobody knows about the case with this young lady who is r-worded by that officer out there in, in birmingham nobody is gonna do anything about this yeah they're gonna launch an internal affairs and they still not gonna arrest the man so all in all what is the point of doing an internal affairs if he's gonna still be able to get a job like he still was able to get a job in the military how how is he still able to work comfortably and still be around women you know he's going to be around women and being a national guard so i'm not understanding what alabama's end goal is here they, they still are enabling the man to be a predator allegedly that's what that's my thoughts on it i said that that's that occult that's why internal affairs are former police officers that's why they're trying to keep the code man they're not trying to they're not trying to uh man, keep it a buck they're not trying to whoop de whoop de whoop man they they trying to they basically just trying to save face they they ain't trying to arrest nobody or put put nobody behind bars that they need to be internal affairs ain't nothing but a whole bunch of thugs allegedly they said military will let them roam completely free yuck they said women too they said cops piping everything down that's why they stick together that's why i'm telling you they over there with them young girls out there tasia and them was knocking down all them cops that's why they was that's why y'all looking at like how was tasia and all them able to commit all them crimes 
get away with all this because when they were setting people up, the hell, the police, the police setting people up too. Hell, they not the only ones out there hitting licks. Shit, they want in on this too. That street money, why you think Vito able to move free, man? He can he can hit up police because hell, some of the police is his homeboys. Vito got partners as police. That's why he's telling you, bro. I got people. I'm, I'm good with this person. Hold on, let me see who this is real quick. Give me one second. Give me one second. What's good, Cypher? I can't hear you for some reason. Hold on. You can't hear me? I can hear you now. What's good? Um, Greetings, Ratchet. I enjoy your show. I enjoy- Go ahead. I can't hear you no more. Oh, my goodness. Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, I said you're outstanding. You bring a lot of awareness to the community, and I appreciate you a great deal. Um, I think that we as the people don't understand how the system works. Um, And it's not that I'm a lawyer. I just study law independently. And all the people have oath of offices that they take, whether it's the mayor, the governor, whomever, the police department. And we need to start going after their oath of office and holding them accountable for what they don't do that they're supposed to do in court of the law. And once we start doing that, then then we'll start getting some type of, you know, awareness. We'll start being able to target their um, their public bonds because all of them have to have bonds to be in office. Everybody wants to go sue. Everybody wants to go march. There are certain um, things that we can do that can outweigh all of that by just holding them to their oath of office, knowing the law based on whatever case we're trying to target it. And once we have those laws established, we can take them not only to the local police department, we can go higher. And if they don't do it, according to the constitution, that's impartiality. So that's be a breach of their constitution to uphold the constitution and their oath of office. So that's all I wanted to say. Hold on, so, hold, on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stay up here, stay up here. What yeah. if someone what if someone has the like read Natasha's comment? She says if you do that, they will attack you further. So how do you feel about people who feel like that? Well, I mean, if you're going to be afraid, you're never going to get changed. You know what I'm saying? This is the thing. You have to be bold. Even if you do it in numbers, you don't always have to do it alone by yourself. You have a commonality with people who are going through the same thing. You gather together and you petition for whomever you're going after oath of office. If we're going to sit here, we're going to be scared about everything that we that affects our life, then we're never going to have any change. It's called having a backbone. And not letting people push you around. They're human just like either one of us. They don't live on Mars. They live right on this planet. And once we get a get our mindset that we're no longer in a fear state, then they can't they can't inflict that pain upon us like they do in a fear state. Our fear state is what makes them inflict even more pain pain upon us. It's just like uh, an animal, and, and I'm not saying that anybody's an animal, but it's just like an animal. An animal smells fear. And once they smell fear, hold they on, move. Hold on, hold on, stay right there. They smell, stay right there. They smell fear. Natasha, hit this link right here. If you want to call in, hit this link right here. I don't know why you're static You can't hear me? I can hear you, but it's coming through static, and I don't understand why. I don't know why either. That's okay. Hold on, let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. My bad. Let me do this. All right, can you hear me now? I can hear you. All right, there we go. All right. So, Natasha, hit that link right there. Yeah, that's how you call in. All right, but uh, go ahead and continue. Go ahead, my fault. So, I'm in a case right now, and I don't have a bunch of people. I go after I go after the judge's oath of office. I go after the police's oath of office. I study what is particular, uh, the particulars of my case. I look up those laws. I see if it apply, and then I put in my affidavits or my affidavits of truth, and I facilitate the change through there. Because the more the more we march, we don't have anything because we don't have a common resolution on where where we want the end result to be. We're just marching because we want to be heard. But once you have something that you focus on what the end result is going to be, then you have a premise to state your complaint. Without a premise to state your complaint, you have no grounds for an argument. There you go. So, so in essence, with the young lady 
who um, had the incident with the police officer. He retired. So who was his next upline? Who was there that's connected to her case? They have an oath of office. The person above them have an oath of office. All these people are public servants. We're treating them like they're masters. They're not masters. They are to serve the public. For Alabama not to release information that is a public hazard is a violation of their oath of office. They're not masters. They're public servants. And when they took their oath, they took their oath to serve the public. So what we do as, you know, people who give power to government, because that's what we do, we give power to our government. When they don't act accordingly, then we have to hold them to what they swore their oath to do. Because if they don't uphold it, then they're committing a crime just like anybody else would commit a crime. It's equal protection under the law. Nobody's immune to the law. Exactly. <clears throat> You're right. You on point. I'm just listening to you dropping gems for real. Yeah. But, yeah, so, but everybody got to be on one accord for something like that to happen, though. Everybody has to be on one accord and everybody has to understand that we yield our power to the government. Without our, our yielding our power to the government, there will be no government. If we no longer consider them a structural organization that benefit us and we decide that we no longer want to listen to them, it's nothing that they can do. Now, yeah, they have military, they have this, they have that, but even the military is public servants. They're all public servants. And the law is structured to where um, the, Constitution, the Constitution is basically a government, a, a, a Constitution, the Constitution, let me get this right. The Constitution basically tells our government what they can and cannot do. It's not about us. It's about what the government cannot do to us. So they have limitations to where if they cross that line, then we can go higher up. The sheriff is above the police department. The sheriff is the one that is supposed to hold everybody accountable to uphold the Constitution. Okay, stay right there. What's up, Dombo? What's good, brother? Get in there. I'm here. Uh, Dombo, go ahead. You, you go ahead and get in there, Dombo. Uh, man, the whole state is corrupt. Uh, I just seen a dude put a comment, and he was talking about the machine. You remember when you oh, was yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, the machine, yeah. man? Look, it, I I mean, look, my license is suspended right now in Alabama, and we get money. So you don't think I can swipe my card to pay for a, a fee? They don't want they won't let that happen. They want me to come down and show my face so they can lock me up. That's their biggest business is church and prisons. And then on top of that, the most highly paid job in Alabama is being an informant. Hmm. Crazy world, man. But that's all I got to say, man. I'm gone. <laughs> salute, salute. For sure. Right. And I hear I hear the brother what he's saying, and it's because they manipulate in people's minds to think that they can do whatever they want to do to them, and they have no no real rights to target them and make them do what they're supposed to do as a public servant. And really, if you look up um, the the um, Supreme Court, Supreme Court, the only reason you need a license is if you're moving in commerce. If you're functioning a business in commerce, that's when you're needing a license. If you're not doing commerce with your vehicle, then you really don't need a license to drive. And it might sound strange to a lot of people, but that is the law. They converted what is your right into a privilege. You have the right to travel the earth. This is God's earth. It's not government's earth is just that you have not, the only thing that you can't do is cause any harm to anyone once you cause harm then yes you can be arrested thanks we have to get out of the shadow of the slave mentality and a lot of us and we don't even recognize we have it but we do to a certain degree because we feel like we have no rights except for the rights that people tell us we have no we have god-given rights we have creator rights. 
And until we start recognizing we are a part of creation and not a part of what man tells us we can and cannot do, then we will fear anything and everything that they tell us we can and cannot do. The highest law is God's law, natural law. That's the highest law. And if you're not doing any harm, they have no reason to harm you. Start going after their oath of office. Start studying law for yourself. You don't have to be a lawyer. Study law for yourself and comprehend what they can and cannot do and hold them accountable. But if you live in fear, you'll never hold anybody accountable. You'll always be afraid. And fear is the most poisonous thing that we can act upon is to be afraid. I and that's basically all I have to say. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you. Salute to you. Thank you. Salute to you, Ratchet. Keep doing what you're doing. All right. Thank you. All right. Salute to her, man. She was dropping nothing but knowledge in this mode. Y'all better listen to her. She know exactly what she's talking about. Y'all better listen and pay attention. She says, what is the voting percentile in Alabama, specifically in the black community? People in position become corrupt when they have no opposition. I, I agree with that, uh, Crystal Cove. I appreciate you for that, honey bun. You gave me some homework. Uh, send that send that question to me on Instagram. Send me that question on Instagram so I can uh, look that up. I definitely would like to find out the, the voting. For, I would like to. That's a good question. I would like to find that out. So send me that question on Instagram because I will forget. I promise you I will forget. So definitely send me, send me that so I can look it up tonight. All right, uh, but yeah, that, this shit is, man. I mean, we came over here and learned a lot tonight. We came over here and learned. Like I said, when you come on this platform, man, you're gonna definitely leave. You're gonna learn something. You're gonna gain some knowledge. You can't leave out of here and not be like, man, I don't know what the hell is going on. You're gonna leave this platform scratching your head, like, bro, that's there's some shit going on. We need answers, and I do think that we need to start something and figure out a way bro we can get justice in these situations and there has to be something that all of us combined can do if we put our minds and our brains together i mean it's no way we could lose if you being honest it ain't no way we gonna lose if we all stick together but you know that, that that's if we all stick together i need 40 likes right now I need 40 likes right now to get to a thousand likes, man. We got $318 on the screen. I'm not mad at that at all. Uh, salute to everybody who did uh, send a super chat, super sticker cash app. I appreciate y'all. It's called insurance oath bond. Once you attack that, they're coming for you. If it's all corrupt, nobody's getting justice. Why do you think nobody in the office gets fired? Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie. People be in office for like 50 years, man. I'd be like, damn, boy, they're like 90 years old, still in office, man. They, to my senators and stuff, just been in office since 1973. Like, damn. We got to know how people govern ourselves because it can be done. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all ever seen The Walking Dead? Now, those are going to be the times where y'all going to see when you, when you, because allegedly they're gonna they're gonna be a whoopty whoopty apaca whoopty whoop. You know, one day they saying it's gonna be like that. They show you stuff before it happens. But anyway, just imagine how evil people are now. Just imagine no police, no you gotta govern yourselves. Just imagine the amount of stuff people could get away. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, you are gonna face real evil. That's real. That's when you face real real evil. At that point, man, it's gonna be like, hold on, man, what the? Hold on, thugs. Hold on, man. There's some, man. But that, those are going to be times where you're going to have to stay prayed up, man. Allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Just always stay prayed up, man. Because allegedly when this stuff pop off, you know, it is what it is, man. Just hopefully y'all on the right side of the fence. That's all I like to say. Hopefully y'all on the right side of the fence. Because it's a fight. It's a fight to the end, y'all. But, you know, what do I know? I'm just Ratchet TV. I don't know. Ish. I'm just Big Ratchet. No, I'm talking about it. it's just me, little old Ratchet TV. Nah, it's the big one, not the little one. It says, I'm sure it's more people uh, can vote over felons. Well, felons can't. But it says, be safe, stay dangerous. You already know. Uh, Y'all already know, man. So, look, we'll be back tomorrow night, y'all. We finna get ready to get the hell up off here, man. We've been on here two hours kicking this knowledge. I thought it was a good show. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, y'all love the show. Some different we getting away from i told y'all we was moving on with our content i already told y'all i was done with that other situation and 
Yeah, I mean, long live uh, everybody we cover, but we got it. We got things to do on this platform, man. We got moves to make. We're going to be all over the place. So we will continue to cover whatever we want over here. We moving on with our content. And I told y'all last night, man, we was moving on. So that's it. Let's continue to keep moving forward and let's try to change one day at a time, y'all. Salute to everybody in the building. Let's jam some music and get the fuck up off here. You know what I'm talking about? Let's jam some music and get up off here, man. I love y'all more than y'all will ever know. It's your boy, Big Ratchet, Ratchet TV. I'm out, gang. See y'all tomorrow. Come back. Say what I mean, I mean. G&D got that heat, boy. Gone to 60 seconds, never let a bitch stretch me. Before the microphone, I made a milli off the celly. I love to see her walk away because it looked like jelly. Went from zero to 60 in two seconds on Pirelli. I'm always at the gym, so I got a diamond fetish. Smoking on the tail while I'm counting up this letter. Stack it to the sky, I believe that I can fly. Told a man in the mirror that you want hell of a guy. If I can do it, so can you, but shit, who the hell? Hell, I'm Who said it's lonely at the top? Cause well, that's a motherfucking lie. I brought my homeboys with me, ballin' in South Memphis like Dubai. Rose Roses back to back to back to back. Oh my god. I mean that shit. Hold up, let me finish. Wait, she so fine, I put it in and tried to touch her kidneys. I'm too motherfucking rich to go and eat at Denny's. But fuck that, I'm in a Jack Purdy drive through in a Bentley. Front seat got my semi. Oh shit, I got plenty Playing with these M's, but I started out with pennies A hundo in my skinnies Louis 13, shots of Top Chef Remy Grew up thugging just like who was Deuce, baby Jimmy Hey, hey, man yeah. I grew up thugging on my South Memphis rug rat. Rug rat get dripping on my knee. These bitches love it. Trip. When I pop out, I got big gigantic stupid racks. Big racks. Fuck a job, I beat the block. I had to flip a pack. Self made nigga, I'm hustling. Hustle. Can't go back to the days when I ain't had nothing. But I won't forget about the drugs. I was just stacking the racks in the trap on my shoe. But now I still this shit in the dust. My rug keep sending them lows and I just keep dropping them. Call them back, I need another one. Another one. Ride around town with a pocket full of jacks. I take up them hundreds and pitches. Keep me a drago, I got a banana clip and a A, I came with titties. 23 shots in my Glock, got a jet. Double my cup, so you know what I'm saying. Really having this shit, nigga, no, I ain't tripping. Can't ride the mob, nigga, I'm never flipping. Yeah, oh, yeah I ain't never flipping. All the time, none of y'all niggas flipping. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the pack, them kids. Yeah. And I ain't worried about none of these little broke ass niggas. All these bitches, bitch. Everything a nigga do, I hear you. These streets, they just gon' mimic. 7500 for a shoulder, nigga, gon' pull me. Ain't no gimmick. I'ma call 6.0, them bitches. Yeah, they him. Yeah, that nigga really have most. Motion, nah. I just heard the whole damn myth. myth. Make a play with Whitey, yeah. end up build up make feeling. Yeah. Really made a killer, yeah. killer. Off the back of ceiling, ceiling. Never been in love, cause uh-uh. I can't really catch no feeling, no feeling. Never had no nine to five, uh-uh. cause I love drug dealing, drug dealing. Yeah. Up in that field, a nigga going ask the wheeler, wheeler. Beat the block, hook yeah. to the dope, all gone, yeah. gone. Yeah. Trapping real, real hard, yeah. off a of two phone, both phone. Um.
I need that chopper line. I see you. Smoking on the drop. Young J R U N. Pimping for my paper and I'm looking for the chewing. Bitch, I got the chew. What the fuck I gotta do? Sick and pop pills, smoke for the bass crew. Two fifty niggas acting all brand new. We need get some money. That's the fuck boys do. I ride in the side, get high in the side. Drip on the brain and get pretty good. My bullet beats some holes with a mind full of gold. She playing with her nose, but she suffer me cold. Sucking while I'm supposed to bass in the six, breaking bricks, bowling in the fucking mix. UFC bitch, you can't act like you don't know. Get down on your knees like a top notch hoe.